I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to piss on his ass. There can only be one person to follow on from Vito Genovese in our Mobster of the Month series. And that person is Lucky Luciano. Lucky has been labeled as the founding father of organized crime, and we are about to tell you why he's been given the title of October's Mobster of the Month. In Luciano's early days, he was under the wing of Arnold Rothstein, who was much like an earlier version of Paul Castellano in many ways. Rothstein was an intelligent, business-minded man, and he taught Luciano how to behave, dress, and conduct business. Lucky gained much inspiration from Rothstein. The pinnacle of Luciano's mob career came in the early 1930s, a time where there was plenty of bloodshed on the streets of New York and fierce gang rivalry which went by the name of the Castellamarese War. Lucky, with his business knowledge, contacts, and leadership qualities, decided that something needed to be done if organized crime was going to continue in strength. The plan was simple. Lucky wanted to form a national crime syndicate in which the Italian, Jewish, and Irish gangs could turn organized crime into a well-oiled business. In 1931, he would orchestrate a hit on Joe the Boss Massaria and Salvatore Maranzano. At the time, Lucky was working for Joe the Boss but decided to strike a secret deal with Maranzano. The deal was that Lucky would order a hit on Joe the Boss in exchange for his rackets and the role of underboss to Maranzano. Joe the Boss was dining in a restaurant with Luciano and two other associates where they played a game of cards. At some point during the event, Lucky got up, went to the bathroom, which initiated the four gunmen to barge in and shoot Joe the Boss from close range. This would put an end to the Castellamarese War and gave Maranzano the Boss of Bosses title. It was during this period that he decided to restructure the way the Mafia worked by creating the five families which were fronted by Maranzano, Luciano, Profaci, Gagliano, and Mangano. However, due to the power given to Maranzano, it was meant that he got greedy and sealed his own fate because of it. He also tried to order a hit on Lucky as he didn't trust him entirely and saw him as a major threat. Lucky for Lucky, Tommy Lucchese found out the plan and got word back to him. On September 10th, 1931, Maranzano sent for both Lucky and Vito Genovese to come to his Manhattan office. Convinced that the hit would take place during this meeting, Lucky decided not to go and instead he sent five gangsters dressed as government agent. None the wiser, his bodyguards were disarmored by two of the agents while the other three entered Maranzano's office, locked the door and then proceeded to stab, strangle and shoot him dead. Lucky Luciano had gotten rid of the two old time mafia bosses and with the advice of Chicago's Johnny Torrio, he had set up the commission which was an organization to help put some structure back into organized crime by providing a place to settle disputes, answer questions, and prevent gang wars from breaking out and causing public exposure. On January 26, 1962, Charles Lucky Luciano died from a heart attack after meeting with a film producer about making a film biography. I don't like violence, Tom. I'm a businessman. Blood is a big expense. You're now rocking with the best NCS Coaster Nostra. Welcome to the Sting on Vaz. The search is over. Every series helps bring you a step closer to the life of the mob without dangerous exposure of what went down. Plus, Mobster of the Month. Original content if you're searching on a hunt for the who's who or the best dressed guy. The type of guns they use, the fuse and mob wives. We supply everything as soon as you log on to the National Crime Syndicate.com. From John Gotti to Dawn back to Mustache P, Big Joe, Al Capone, and Maya Lansky. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Cause the code of silence. Here, no longer replies, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned in. Cause over here we like to keep this thing moving. <laughs>